Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So today I'm gonna to talk about what I do in these beds here to prepare them for replanting after putting in some cover crop. So earlier this month, I chop and drop some tillage radish and then I put a tarp over it and I left that for a couple weeks. And when I uncovered it, it was nice and broken down and ready to plant on. Good. Try. Good job. Whoa, that looks creepy. Yeah. Look at this, everyone. Do you see it? Looking really good. Don't touch any of that. That's molded up. Yeah. So it does look like most of this has really decomposed. I mean, look at this. That's looking really good. However, I still need to get some nutrients in here, especially since these are rather new beds. I had only put one round of cover crop in and I need to add more nutrients because it's not been enough time to really build up nutrients in these beds. This is pretty terrible soil underneath. And while I'm adding a lot of compost to add nutrients, I still need to add some extra nutrients in as well. So I have a 624 organic nutrient mix that's made from chicken manure and I sprinkled that on. And then I added some sulfur to be able to drop the pH because I've got very alkaline soil here. And then I added some bone meal, which is gonna raise the potassium a little bit, which I desperately need in these beds. So what you add to your soil for prep would depend on what your soil content is. It's a good idea to get it tested which I did here. And then also it depends on what you're gonna be growing. So some crops like a little more nitrogen, some like less, some like more pot potassium or phosphorus and the like. So of course it depends on what you're gonna be growing. But for me, that's what I added here. And then I broad forked this. And the reason why I broad forked is these are newer beds. And since they're newer beds, uh, I've got a lot of clay underneath. Uh, most of my soil is clay. So I have to be able to break that up, allow some nutrients down into the, so uh, into the clay soil to get some microbes down in there so it doesn't become stagnant and anaerobic underneath the soil. I wanna get down quite a bit uh, and those, that broad fork gets down about 12 inches. So after broad forking, then I added some compost, a little compost layer on top to be able to even this out and be able to add seeds on. I've got a nice little tool, as you can see, that tool will even out that compost and make a nice even layer on top to give a good base to be able to put seeds in. And of course the compost is gonna add nutrients and microbes to the soil. So there we go, that's what I do to be able to prep my bed. If you guys haven't seen it already, go ahead and check out my video on planting the cover crop that I did, that daikon radish. I think it turned out great. It wasn't perfect, but being the first crop that I planted here, I think it did pretty good. Also, coming up soon is gonna be a video where I show myself planting what I have here now. And that's a mixture of a bunch of different things. I've got carrots, cabbage, beets, lettuce, spinach, and more. So definitely check that video out. It'll be out in about a week or two. All right, well, thanks for watching, everyone. If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, helps me and the channel out. I will see you guys on the next video. Now you try to escape the daily grind.